Hey everybody, Dark Hour 717 here, fresh out of my release from Klesher, and uh, I am legal again. So tonight we're going to do some tutorials on bounty hunting, and uh, we'll go out and we'll get some uh, NPC bounties, and maybe if we have time we'll try for a player bounty. Uh, at this point right now I do have my pro times done. If you don't have those done, you won't be able to get NPC or player bounty. So you'll want to make sure that you go through and do your pro tem bounties. There's going to be at least two out at Hurston and two at Crusader that you can do. One of the ones from Crusader will bring you back to Hurston. So once you have those all done, you can get player and NPC bounties anywhere. But realistically, you only have to finish the two out at Hurston to get a decent number of bounties. So let's go and we'll grab our harbinger and we'll head on out. Don't forget, give a subscribe and a like. Also, we are also posting Cyberpunk 2077 videos as well too. So check those out if you're a fan of Cyberpunk. And uh, join us on Twitch. We're streaming Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays from 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, we'll be doing a mix of uh, both games, Star Citizen and Cyberpunk. But give a follow on Twitch. And again, give a subscribe and a like here on YouTube and look for our upcoming contest for the month of January to be drawn on February 1st. Right now, the Nomad is winning as the preferred ship to put up for a prize. So if uh, you have other ideas that you'd like to see, throw them in the comments, vote, and then uh, we'll take the most voted for uh, item. All right, if nobody votes, then it sticks as the Nomad. So hopefully, if you guys don't vote, you want a Nomad. So Nomad's kind of cool. It's a pickup truck. It's like the Ford Ranger of Star Citizen. All right, so let's uh, get out of here. So we're going to get our weapons set here and get the MFDs set up how I like them. All right. Now let's get airborne. Launch complete. Proximity alert port. Proximity alert head. Landing gear rejected. All right. So let's see what's out here and what's available. I'm still shy of that million too. I gotta keep working on that. All right, so Thank we're you. gonna go over here to our contract manager, and as you can see, we have bounties. We have uh, a two NPC bounties, so we'll grab both of those. Keep in mind, anything under general is a legal mission, and we're also gonna go to Mer mercenary, and let's make sure we grab our call to arms. And we're also gonna grab that eliminate threat from Hurston Space. Ooh, authorized execution warrant. What's that one? Treason, sentenced to death in certain cases. This is one of those special cases. Contract will be legally authorized to eliminate Phaeogenic. You'll be given the information age of hunt. So that can either be on planet or that could be in space. So we're going to grab that and see what it is. It's an extra 3500 so these are accepted we got our mercenaries and our bounties so we're going to go ahead and we are going to do our bounties first in our star map we'll probably have markers for the majority of them though yep so we got markers up here as well as over here in aberdeen nothing on magda so we will hit aberdeen first Hey, you're here to control, right? Okay, so this Hang is our right sec. above we first. Can go shortly. So we're gonna have to go through four or five different little uh, patrol areas, 
and we're gonna have to take out anybody that's there so it's actually not too difficult if you got a decent fighter you can get this done fairly easily we just gotta wait the time for our first patrol sector So while we're waiting, we can go ahead and go into our contract managers and we will just put a track on this one. And as you can see, we're just awaiting further instruction, which we'll get now. So here's how this is gonna work. I'll be here running the op over comms. You head to a patrol point, you clear it. I send you the next one. can't quantum to the, con the patrol points, you just have to fly there, they're very, fairly short distances, it doesn't take long at all, just gotta watch the debris and the asteroids. cut your SCM speed down because your best fighting is when you're below that red. So we are here at the point. And we went right past it. We're going to come back to it. And we're waiting for our further instructions. All right, so nothing here that we had to take out, so we're going to move over to the next patrol point. This is a nice, easy way to make a little bit of UEC. This will be changing with 312 with the new Bounty Guild system, and with Reputation, you'll be able to build yourself up, and as long as you don't get fired, and make more money doing this. Right now in 311.1, the, uh, the payoff is it's smaller than it used to be. But it makes for a little bit of fun, get a little bit of combat in and do some murder. Contact. And there's our first contact. missiles on these guys they're mostly mustangs i think the biggest thing i've seen is a cutty so you can get through them without having to waste your missiles and if you have something like the harbinger it means that you can use the laser repeaters without having to worry about refill the gatling guns one of the few ships i don't do gatling guns on hold for more instructions if nobody shows up then we move on to the next one keep in mind with that call to arms you actually get extra money for every wave that you take out showed up so we will move on to the next area there's times you do these and you have multiple contacts at every area other times you do these 
you actually only get contacts at one or two areas. Typically in total you get four to six areas that you have to go and patrol. It's a good warm up before you try to take on a uh, player bounty because player bounties are definitely more difficult but the payoff is much higher. Usually a minimum 15,000. like it's about it. So about four or five on that one. But we made 5,000 UEC, which is always a bonus. So we'll go here to our map. Reset it. Nothing else at Aberdeen. Everything else we have is out here at Ida. Alright, so we're at the rendezvous point, and now we're going to just kind of fly in and see if we can pick up a target. We got a radar lock, and there he is. Let's get down below this asteroid. Like I said, these go pretty quick if you got something, if you're doing an arrow or something smaller like that, it can take a little bit longer, but with the Harbinger, you just whip right through them. It's some quick, easy, little money for you. So we're going to track that one. What else we got? Okay, we got the authorized execution warrant. We'll save that one for last. Go to our skyline. We should have a marker on here for this one now. Oh, where's this guy at? Oh, he's all the way out at Crusader. So before we go there, let's check this execution warrant out. Let's track that one. at Ishmael which means that he is in the bunker all right well I think we can do this yeah we should be able to do this up and running because we're not in an armistice zone and I want the shields up.
remember with these ones if you want to just get the target and get out you can you don't have to kill everybody in here Got a suppressor on so they're not hearing the gunfire. Something's up. anywhere from four to eight people in here so you just want to take your time check your corners and stay undercover And if you run out of ammo or anything, you can always pick up their guns as well. I swear I heard something. Target's dead. We are done. Let's get out of here and go on to our next one, which is going to be out by Crusader. and easy. Alright, let's get out here and get airborne and we will move on to the next one. Right, let's take this guy out. Hey, you're here for the op. Oh, yeah, I'm going right. to be your handler, just waiting for final clearance and then we can get started. This is going to be the waypoint to waypoint. So you do have to wait on the clock a little bit. But this if we complete this one, that will put us less than 10,000 away from our million. The other thing you want to keep in mind is that if you do want to earn the higher amounts, you can come here to your personal jobs and you can do these. And these are basically going to be illegal missions that allow you to make more money. But, keep in mind, you're doing illegal missions, meaning you will likely get Before a crime Before we get started, stat. let me break down how this patrol will work. We'll check each point to make sure it's clear, and move on. So, corporate, in all their wisdom, have ordered us to run these ops remotely. So I'll stay here and monitor you. But, with the personal ones, if you're finishing up for the night, you want to make a quick bang for your buck, then you can do those and sleep off your time in Clesher if you can get yourself put in there or you're going to have to try and clear your crime stat <clears throat> all right so we're going to the first patrol area Contact. 
Vortex multiples. Don't forget, you can join Amrock's Fang Org. We are trying to build an org to do group events and everything. Contact. All different play styles Contact. are welcome. Just basically a place for everybody to just get together and have a good time. Nothing too serious. If you join the org, Amrock's Fang, make sure you join the Discord as well. And you can also join in with the streaming on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday nights by going onto the Discord and going into the landing zone and asking to go into the stream and we will pull you into the chat and bring you into the party. Next one. <clears throat> I am really anxious and excited for 312. I'm waiting for my Talon Shrike. I'm excited about trying that 400i out. I'm hoping we'll see it by the weekend here. From what I've heard, they are close to bringing in the Wave 1 PTU. Contact. And then shortly after Wave 1 PTU, within a week or so, they usually bring it into the live universe. That tractor beam gun looks like it's going to be a lot of fun as well. Alright, he's dead. Okay, so he decided he was going to crash into me. Doesn't look like it took really much damage. <clears throat> Again, the Harbinger is a pretty formidable ship. If you upgrade those components, it's fast. It's not the most agile like the Gladius or the Arrow, but it's a tank. And with your 3 size 5s and your 12 size 3s, she can uh, go up against most anything except for Carrick Hammerhead. Put on our rest of threes here. I don't want to use up all my size three or size fives. that one that should have us less than 10,000 away there it is let's see what's on the boards bounties 
even if I did, I'd have to do all of these to break the million. There's a 10,000, so let's do that one, and that'll put us over our million. All right, let's head on over there. Finish this thing out. Closes on the server tonight. I don't anticipate I'm going to be able to find a player bounty. I really want to try my hand at it again because I am really awful at them. And one of these days I'm going to actually finish one. said damn it that's a new swear word
We got lucky there. Remember that. And that Don't should worry. put us over It'll the million. Come on. There it is. One million. We have uh, gone over the top. So I apologize there's no player bounties this evening, but there's our million dollars. Just, uh, you know, probably about 50, 60 I did tonight, I believe. So you can have some decent time with taking out the uh, NPC bounties and some of the other missions. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this has been a good tutorial for you on how to do the bounties, doing your pro temps first. Make sure you clear those out. In normal times you can go after the player bounties who knows there'll be times that you may be coming after me which hey I wish you the best of luck because I suck at space combat so remember give a subscribe a like I hope you enjoyed the video join us on Tuesday Thursdays and Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern time for our streams we'll be streaming Star Citizen as well as cyberpunk 2077 and also, for Star Citizen, don't forget, use that referral code if you're not in the game yet and are looking to join. It's going to be in the comments of this video here, as well as join Amarox Fang. We welcome everybody in and welcome everybody to join us in the verse, uh, in party, and on the Discord to uh, do different events. But uh, other than that, I hope you guys have had a great night. I am actually going to shut it down right here. And if you've never done this it's very handy if you have a ship that has a bed in it you can actually go right to the bed here and you can log out without having to land in a station and uh, most of the time you'll wake up next to the Sun when you get back in but it's a nice feature that puts you right back in your ship all right thank you again you guys have a great night and give a subscribe and a like and follow on twitch Thank you.